The show is, um, it's about intelligence that's never been portrayed on television before. It's the CIA's President's Daily Brief. And I play the President's Briefer, which is a CIA analyst, and it's about these people in their world and how they gather this information and present it to the President so that uh, she can be informed, she or he, can be informed about foreign policy and what's going on in the world and the, any immediate threats that might present themselves that she needs to be aware of in that moment, that day, and that hour, and it changes constantly. To be the President's Briefer, um, you have to be the best of the best and then the best of all of those. And Charleston's job is probably one of the, the sort of highest stakes, highest pressure jobs in the intelligence community. She not only has to be a part of these teams of analysts that put together and pull together this information, make sure whatever that information is that's going into the book that day is relevant for the, for the president. Um, she has to make hard decisions about things that, you know, it can only be 10 pages long and I'm sure there are more than 10 pages worth of threats going on every day in this country and in the world. So she has to make her decisions every day about what's going to go in the book, what's not going to go in the book, and then she has to present it to the president in a way that, you know, she can basically sell it. Uh, they call the president the first customer because that's who this is all done for and that's their consumer of this. So she has to bring it to the first customer and present it in a way that, um, is digestible and understandable and gives weight to any any one issue that is going on or or one that's more significant than another and at times can you know that can influence where the president's focus is I play Charleston Tucker and I play the president's briefer This is a sort of high stakes high action uh look into the world of intelligence that we haven't seen. So for me, what's going to make this show great, what I feel this show has, is, you know, those moments of romance and those heartfelt, sincere um, aspects that you need to draw an audience in and really have them connect with each of these characters and who these people are, because it's through them that we keep people interested in the stories we're trying to tell. Um, and I think, you know, always, I always think every drama needs a little bit of comedy. So, you know, those great comedic beats and those great snappy, witty lines <laughs> really keep it moving. And then on top of that, you just have to have really compelling stories, something that, you know, telling something that people haven't necessarily seen before, or maybe they have, but in a totally new and different way. Every president has a secret weapon, and Charleston is that secret weapon. She is the president's briefer, specifically. Each of the briefers in the team briefs somebody else, like Kurt briefs the Secretary of Defense, and Lucas briefs the director of the CIA. So we all have somebody that we specifically brief, and I brief the president. And we have a very unique and special relationship, because I was at one point engaged to her son, who was um, tragically killed. And so not only do we have that sort of history, we just also happen to to really connect and respect one another and um, trust each other. So it's, you know, a very full and interesting, complicated relationship. And my proximity to the president gives my character a lot of power and, and puts her in a lot of danger because people always want to sort of abuse that connection and abuse that power. You know, we're trying to keep it as sort of authentic and on point as we can in honor of the CIA and what they do every day and how hard those people work and for very little glory and recognition. So the PDB is that. The PDB, every day there's something new. There is some new threat. There is some new information. There's some new intel. And these people have to stay so on top of it. So we, you know, that is absolutely a part of the show because that's a part of the world. Um, and then, you know, in order to sort of keep our audience engaged with these characters and their personal lives and their stories, you know, we're, we're trying to delve into a deeper, more complicated character story. When we start with the PDB in the beginning of, of every episode, we really like to, um, we're kind of in the world of whatever that crisis is that day. 
So we jumped from Panama to Africa to Russia to a submarine in you know, the Bering Sea. So we start, because we also want to sort of humanize what's going on out there and um, these people that, it, that, that these terrible things are happening to. We have the good fortune of working with two of our executive producers, Hank Crompton and Rodney Farron, our ex-CIA. Uh, Hank was an operative and Rodney was the briefer to two presidents. So we were able to get all this information from them and the stories and the background and the history and just, you know, by working with them allowed to sort of keep it as authentic as possible. These are pretty current affairs and, and current storylines and ideas that I think will resonate with a lot of people because, you know, they're all of our concerns as Americans.